Today I want to give you a tour of my new little home office and talk about how I have intentionally set up this space to make me more productive and more inspired. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see what I had done to this room to make it so much better and the answer was a resounding yes. So that is what we're doing in today's video. So since I moved into this flat, I have been working on my YouTube channel and my own little projects in this room. But if we're being honest, it's been a really boring place to work from. I didn't really have the space I needed at my desk to draw things out and, you know, plan things out by hand. I had one little section in that room set up to look good in the background of my videos. But other than that, the rest of the place was pretty dull. So one of the first changes that I made was giving myself the space I needed to work. My laptop sitting bang in the middle of my desk just wasn't working for me. So I bought these little drawers to set my laptop on and I bought myself a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse that can easily be moved out of the way if I need more space and it has given me so much more space on my desk without having to go all out and buy myself a bigger desk. Another benefit of having these drawers is that everything I need while I'm working at my desk is within easy reach. In the top drawer I keep my highlighters and my whiteboard markers which I use a lot when it comes to fleshing out ideas and video plans and in the second drawer I keep my hard drive, my little USB extension thing my camera when I'm not using it and my camera batteries, memory cards, things like that. I also keep my earphones in here as well. The drawer of my desk holds my notebooks that I use every day for video planning, research and even journaling things out, I keep that there too. I have space in that drawer to put my keyboard if I need more space on my desk and I keep my headphones here too in case I want to use those when I'm editing. And I also keep some extra stationery and my calculator in here because I use that a lot too. On top of my desk I like to keep things as minimal as I can so I have some pens within easy reach because if they aren't I will just leave them scattered on the desk when I'm done with them instead of putting them away in a drawer. I have my monthly planner that I use to map out when videos are going to go live that just kind of gives me an overview of what I'm working on and that also doubles as a mouse map. And I have my time cube here too. Whenever I feel unmotivated or overwhelmed with work I need to do, this is a lifesaver for getting me started and building a bit of momentum. I have my favourite flowers in this little jar and usually there's a cup of tea sitting somewhere too. Everything else lives in these drawers. These are all the things I don't need very often so I don't need to have them in easy reach. There's cables and electronics and old notebooks with notes from courses I've done in the past, spare notebooks, even more stationary because I clearly have a stationary problem. These drawers aren't as organised just because they don't need to be because I don't need to use the stuff in them all that often. Things are kind of categorised so I know roughly where they are but it's not a perfectly organised system. The drawers can get quite messy to be fair. And in this little corner I have space to keep my lights and my tripods and things up. For when I know I'm going to be filming a lot it's just a pain to have to take them down and put them back up and I will procrastinate filming just because I can't be bothered setting up my lights or my tripod. So I have the space to keep those up there so I just put them there, they're out of the way but they're also easy for me to just grab out whenever I need them. So once everything has a home that made sense it was time to make my space feel good. I wanted to enjoy coming into the room and feel comfy and inspired while I was here because I'm going to spend a lot of time here. One of the first things I knew I wanted to do was get a vision board back up in my space. Last year I made a vision board but since moving it just kind of got tucked away under my bed because it didn't really align with me anymore. So I redid it to suit the goals that I have now. I took some photos from Pinterest and I altered my subscriber count on one of them to represent the goal of monetizing my channel and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's very simple but I really like it. I got a couple of frames to put on the wall too. This one is from Fi, I think the website's called and I just really loved it when I saw it and of course it's pink. And this one is a quote that I saw on Pinterest that I took and I created my own print for it. 
it's a reminder to myself but it's also what my YouTube channel is all about so I really like having that up on the wall in front of me when I'm working on my YouTube channel. And then I added a bunch of things that make me happy. Which is basically things that are pink. I reselled my bookshelves with my diffuser, my calendar and one of my favourite candles on top. I added these fake flowers in a little wooden pot. I've loved adding more wood into my space, it just gives so much more of a cosy vibe. So just having it round the room just, I really like it. It makes me feel cosy and comfy while I'm working. I put these notebooks that I've had for a while out on display just for the colours and I put this little tea light holder on top. I took a bunch of my favourite books and put them out which I've loved doing for a while. You've probably seen in the background in my videos almost from the beginning that I've had a pile of books and I just really like displaying the books that I love. And then I have this cute little basket. There's nothing in it right now. I might never put anything in it because I kind of like it just sitting there. I have these two drawers at the bottom and these just have more books, essential oils, photos and random things in them. Again, this is part of the room that isn't the most organised because I don't go into it that often. I added my plant that was in the living room to this corner, which added more pink but also added some life to the room as well. And I also have my little elephants here too. I absolutely love elephants. And then this fake rose thing sits on top of my wardrobe because I really like how it looks when you first walk into the room. I shoved it up there just as a temporary thing while I figured out where I wanted to go but I ended up really liking it so that now lives up there. And then I also added a little rug on the floor which is the softest thing ever by the way. Sometimes I will bring my laptop onto the floor because I just want to sit on it. And this one over my chair which also makes sitting at my desk so much comfier. So that is pretty much what I've done to this room to make it more productive, more inspiring. I can get work done because I have the space to get work done and I have the tools that I need right there with me. But I also have the colours that I love, the quotes that motivate me, my vision board to keep me inspired while I'm working. Your environment makes a massive impact on how you feel and the things that you do. So definitely if you were feeling the same way as I was, that my space was just boring and I just didn't really enjoy being in it that much. If you feel like that, give it a little makeover. Add some things in, add your favourite colours in, add some things that make it more comfortable, more inspiring because that's going to make you want to be in there and want to get some work done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really does help to let more people see my videos. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I usually upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Recently we've had some issues with that, but we're working on it. So you can expect new videos every Wednesday and Sunday all about intentional living, goals, organisation, productivity, all that fun stuff. If you want to keep watching, there are going to be some videos on the screen that you may enjoy watching next. And other than that, I will see you in Sunday's video.